again guys i bought a tesla one tesla stock a few weeks ago and then i bought some more i always wanted to buy a buy tesla not a tesla not a car but the tesla stock um you have to buy the tesla stock first make the money and then you buy the tesla something like that but yeah so I, i've been reading up on tesla i've been following tesla for quite a while so if you look at tesla right now it's 133 you can see right there at the lowest point here, December 27th, it was 109. At that point, I was traveling, so I wasn't really, really checking stocks and anything like that. Um, in January, again, it went down to 108. And that's where I should have caught it, but I didn't catch it there. I caught it at right around here, about 117. I got it for 117 there. But if you guys follow Intesla stock, you can see right there, back in October, um, it was... The highest one of the highest point was 229. Let's go to November of 21 here. Tesla was $407 at that point. Uh, and I was really kind of really envious of people who own Tesla stock up there and they were sitting on it and that was their retirement stuff. But never you would you think that Tesla would come back down all the way down there to, to 108. The market dropped last year. So, so Tesla went down and I got in. I bought Tesla. So I, that's why I'm saying I bought te I bought a Tesla. So I bought one Tesla. I test the market. And now today from 117, we are up to 130, 30, 30 something right now. So And it's look like it's going, it's still going up. So I'm, I'm really liking this. So if you bought Tesla at the same time I did down like 117 or before, you should be close to about $20. For every one Tesla, you should have made $20. So, so if we look at the news right there, you can see there's lots of news right there that will drive the price of Tesla stock up right now. Um, a lot of the big analysts think that Tesla is going to be in a bull run. So that's pretty good. And right there, that's the, that's the kind of thing that you have to look for right now. Tesla has cut their prices, which will kind of strengthen the demand for Tesla right now. A lot of people want to buy Tesla, but Tesla was too expensive. Um, one of the cheapest Tesla you could get last year was almost $60,000. So right now they have cut their price quite a lot. They did cut their price um, sometime last year in China. And lots of Chinese, and the Chinese were really angry about that, especially people who bought Tesla at, at the expensive price. And then a week later, Tesla was cutting their price down. So there was demonstration and everything like that. So we have to take all that into consideration, right? But yeah, but the demand for Tesla has gone up right now in the last week because they slashed their prices. And I believe the price is going to go down a little lower, especially on used um, on used Tesla. That's going to force the other EV manufacturers to cut their prices too. If you want to compete with Tesla, you're going to have to cut their prices. So you, you, so we may want to look at other stocks in the, in the EV sector. If you look at the EV market right there, uh, there's an upward momentum going on right now with, with, those, with those vehicles. Um, you can see 6% here, 5%, 8%. Workhorse, um, it's up 8%. So that's pretty impressive. Um, Lion Electric Company is up 6%. And Xpeng is up 5%. So you can see there's an upward trend right now, guys. So now might be a good time to... To, to look at um, EV. So again, Tesla is the leader of the pack. So that's the one you really want to look at. And from watching the trend right now, it looks like Tesla is heading back up. Um, how high will it go? We don't know, but it's the market is looking quite good. So 